Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Art Taxi episode number 12. Okay, we are at the last two episodes. It's the penultimate episode and in the previous episode a lot of things came into light and even though we got to understand a lot of things, uh, one thing kind of popped out because of the previous episode which is who is the one who killed uh, Mitsuya? now that's kind of like a new mystery that popped up and i don't know if we're going to get an answer to that but by the end of it hopefully we will and uh yeah let's see what happens so a lot of things uh, came into light in the previous episode most of it was something that i kind of predicted but there were a few things where i was kind of off um so you know like uh them like you know like this girl being a completely different uh person like I was under the impression that the Mr. Kid's girl, uh, the Blackfoot cat girl, I think her name is Sakura, the real name, you know, he and uh, Misa were the same person, I thought. I thought they were just keeping her hidden for some other reason. But it turns out that uh, Mitsuya is a completely different person who actually has been killed. And this girl, the new girl, I think her name was Sakura, she is a replacement for her and that's why she wears the mask. So I was kind of able to un like you know catch what was happening but was unable to understand like you know like realize the what's happening in the background that they are actually different i thought they were the same they're, like there's like only one person but there are actually two person that's an like, kind of like a real twist that i've like you know got and yeah like that was that and the whole thing is kind of going down like you know dobu um uh, yeah, no, they are like all, all trying to do their, you know, go according to their plans and we still don't know where Tanaka is, Hope, most probably he'll pop out in this episode, <laughs> I don't know and, uh, you know, and then that was that and also uh, Goriki, Goriki is doing his thing, he's trying to find out what Odokawa's past is, you know, all that stuff and yeah so let's see what this episode brings uh so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 12 of our taxi i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go okay uh the video will be not shown because of copyright problems Hmm. Also, oh, another thing we got to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, we got to realize is like I was under the impression that Baba was like, you know, her, his personality. I really did not quite like up until now, but the previous episode really changed my mind. And Shibagaki, you know, it seems like, you know, we can see what Shibagaki's problem is. Why, you know, he's not being able to be <coughs> successful because he's clinging to his past ways. And like, you know, demeaning other comedians who are doing well than, you know, him. And yeah, it's, which is kind of petty in a way. So my impression completely turned, like you know, completely turned about Shiga, Shibagaki and Baba in the previous episode. All right. Okay. Oh my God. Here we go. Take a second to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Come on. Okay, Dobu's here. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is the first one which like has the real money. Okay, the second one.
Okay. <laughs> well, I knew this was going to happen. Yano is not an idiot, you know. Okay, come on. Okay, oh no, it didn't work. <laughs> My god. Okay, the police and the Dogu. Uh Okay, now what? Like You should have okay. Okay, here it is. Okay, he's checking it now. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Taxi fare, yeah. Okay. Oh, whoa, was that like a GPS? Okay. I think that was like a GPS or a transmitter. Okay. Uh It's the dad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't really care now. Oh boy. Kurochan. Hmm. Okay. Huh. All right. Come on, you can do it. Hmm. Okay. Ha <laughs> 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 Wow. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, he's stuttering. Did you forget? <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, you guys need to talk, like... Uh... 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, maintain the traffic rules. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yes. Is it going to... Uh, yeah, the real one. <laughs> this is suspicious. Uh. Oh my god, they're going to get a shock now. Not they, but them. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Yano! <laughs> Yano! <laughs> yeah! Oh! <laughs> yeah! Let's... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank god. Hmm. Boy, okay. Hmm. Yeah. God. I did not think it would go this well. Like, I thought something was going to happen. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, he is. Nope. <laughs> he realizes it now. Obviously looking at the ID, so... Oh god. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> still something. All right, now what's going to happen? Mm, he's acting the no that's <sighs> oh no oh boy okay yeah
Yeah. Mm. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, this. <laughs> I knew it. He's going to pop up, Tanaka. I. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Huh. Six bullets. Okay. Okay. But oh no, you shouldn't make assumptions like this. Like I don't know from where he, he could have gotten hold of some bullets or something. Oh my god, he's completely crazy. Yeah, yeah, some rare character in a gacha game. Yeah, okay, so apologize, I guess. Oh no, he might shoot him if he comes out. So don't shoot him. And I think he's... <laughs> Dobu is also like, what the hell is this guy? Oh boy. Oh no. Oh. Wait. Wait, this is the Wait, what? <laughs> is it is he like oh Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh god. The the online L. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he's he's now trying to kill Do Dobu now. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh no.
What? Yeah, what, what's up with that? Like... Oh god. So who is the one who conned him? Oh! No, no! Ah, oh, god damn, this is... Oh, that's what I was saying. Like, you can't be sure about these things. What the hell? What? Oh my god, this guy is complete crazy. Um, someone take him to the hospital, please? Ambulance? Wait, why did he even? Oh god. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're going to come. Oh. Will the ambulance really come? I don't want him dying, like, that's... And ambulance and the yeah. Oh no, Yano is here. Oh God. Run. Wait, how did they? What happened to Daimon? Oh, great. Oh. Yeah. But he, yeah, he's also, also involved in this. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. Oh my god, it ended. Wow, that went quick. Oh no, what's going to happen? 
Like, I hope the ambulance comes quickly. Like, Dobu's was bleeding out. Oh, God. Okay, so the next episode is the ending episode. And it'll probably wrap everything up. Oh, God. Hopefully, Diamond comes quickly. Like, Yano is chasing, um... Odokawa now. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's the end. All right, all right. So, uh, this was episode twelve. Or taxi now. <laughs> a lot of things went down in this episode. First of all, um, the plan went pretty smoothly. Now, here's one thing. <coughs> like Odukawa told, um, where is it? Just a sec. All right. Um, like the Odoka's plan was in the previous episode we saw. Like Odoka's plan was actually to like you know for Imai to actually say that oh like check the second case and they're going to check the case and then you know there won't be any money. There's it's going to be like a whole chaos thing and the police will be notified. The police will be here and it will all go well in that way. He thought it did not work out that easily as far as I could tell because they you know like Yano was the one. Uh, Yano kind of uh, suspected the whole thing. He told them to check the case, but the other guy was like, "Nah, the police will be here. Let's get out of here quickly." So, yeah, like it was kind of going in that direction, but then it didn't. <clears throat> and I thought Yano would be more careful about this. You know, like it seemed he he was going in the right direction. He told them to check, but then when they insisted that nah, the police is here, let's get out. He easily gave that up. I really did not expect that. Like, you know, I thought Yano would be even more careful, more cautious, and he would be like something like, no, like, I, I told you to check the case, and I want you to check the case. That's going to happen. After we check the case, we'll get out of here. I thought he was going to say something like that, but yeah, most probably, like, he himself was also very concerned with the police. So, without, you know, saying anything, he decided to get out of that situation. So, the first part of Odoka's plan did not work out as he wanted it to, but then by the end of it, it kind of ended up working out in a way. So, okay, that's what happens and everything goes according to Dobu's plan. Dobu comes in, takes the uh, rest of the money and, you know, goes, <sighs> starts following them. Diamond stops the Yano's car. They actually realize that, you know, the bills are fake. Most of the bills are fake. And they start freaking out. He takes him to the taxi. Uh, not taxi, sorry. In the police car. <laughs> Dobu takes the one with the 100 million, you know, money. That, uh, the, the black van. And gets out. Like, <laughs> like, I, like, you know, like he was so cautious about it. Not cautious, but so intricate about this. That he didn't even le let 100 million go past. You know, like he could have just been like, you know what, let that hundred million uh, stay with um, Yano. I won't, you know, I, I won't interfere anymore. We have 900 million, so we're going to bail out with that. Like, let Yano keep the rest. But no, he, he, he really wanted to completely defeat Yano. I mean, each and every way possible. And yeah, he was successful in a way I was very surprised. That the plan worked out so well. Like, you know, the plan was such a huge plan. I thought something's going to mess up. Like, you should not, like, ever, like, make such huge plan in these type of, uh, like, you know, uh, situations where anything can, can go wrong in any, at any moment. Never make a huge plan. Like, it, you can mess up in the middle of it. And then it will be too late. But it worked out very well, surprisingly. Like, you know, and... Yeah, they were able to 
get out of that place <clears throat> and uh, okay that was that and then we get a little brief glimpse of Baba and Shibaraki with their you know performance and you know they're kind of doing it well then Shibaraki started you know talking about his own regrets and like, you know he started telling everything that he was keeping in his heart now they needed to have this talk and <laughs> like you know like i guess better let, late than never like even though they are in front of a huge audience Shibaraki is actually talking and they're good friends so like you know suddenly breaking up the group like this in this way will leave a bad taste in their mouth so yeah they really needed to have to have that conversation and yeah they're having the conversation now in front of the whole audience so i guess you know and uh, okay so then the like you know diamond comes and stops the car they like, you know he might he might runs away they, <laughs> they take yano and um <clears throat> the, the the other guy <laughs> i can't remember his name you know the patrol car <laughs> though runs away with the van now i'm guessing here's what happened after this like, you know they saw that Dogu was running away and then they realized that uh, this is daimon and they beat him up because obviously like he is involved with this whole thing so he won't be able to go to the police and press charges so yeah like they were like you know what this is daimon we beat him up take the patrol car and follow them and that's what they did and yeah that was like a big mistake daimon made like what else did he think would happen you know this is like a high high risk thing like thank god they did not kill him you know it just beat him up so <clears throat> that was a foolish thing like just like daimon's brother said that you told you you called me foolish all this time but you are the biggest fool here and uh, okay now now the thing that Odaka was trying to do was he was trying to act like a nonchalant taxi driver when Daimon was uh, Dobu was talking to him but Dobu kind of said that yeah don't try to you know, betray me I'm going to come back and get you if you do anything like that I'm also going to get Shirakawa as well so that, I, I wonder what he, he was going to do after that, you know, uh, uh, Odokawa, if uh, Tanaka did not come and confront them. Like, how would he have taken the next step? Because his plans were kind of failing one by one. So I don't know. And uh, now one thing that obviously I saw what like it, it was. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. That was part of his plan. I forgot that he put the GPS transmitter in the van. Okay, Tanaka coming here was a part of Odokawa's plan, wasn't it? As far as I could understand, because the thing with the, the GPS, the transmitter, he put it in the van so that uh, Tanaka can come to the van. Okay, I think that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was his plan. All right. So what he basically did is like, I think he realized that his plan had failed. So he actually put the transmitter in the van and like, you know, in hopes of Tanaka coming here and making a scene. And... Tanaka did come here and you know he thought that he would like, you know, probably do something here to stop it, that Dobu will do something and in that confusion he was probably tr like he would have probably taken the black van and ran away or something he, he would have some done something like that I think but you know it kind of went in a completely different direction which I was not at all accepting uh, expecting um Tanaka turns on Dobu here. Now, the thing that he says here is like, you know, you, so you, you destroyed my life. And, you know, I thought that like he said something like, yeah, I was kind of trying to kill you. But now I'm feeling sick and tired. I want you to apologize. And I'm, I'm guessing like if, if the, the, what do you call it? The, the, er the eraser, the rubber, uh, the eraser did not fall down from the pocket from Odokawa's pocket um I don't know what Tanaka would have done if it did not fall down he would have probably would he really forgive him I don't know like he seemed pretty crazy to forgive someone <laughs> like, you know he was so out of his mind that he it, it didn't seem like he would forgive him but anyways like I'm guessing he probably would have uh, I don't know like maybe he would have forgiven him and gone on his own way but 
yeah the eraser falls down and that was obviously the eraser that he you know like the the whole um bam what was it called the auction the auction that happened in his childhood like that eraser and according to him it's like this, this eraser is like only one you know it's very rare so it's impossible to have duplicates of it so this must be that eraser which i spent all my money on and it never came to me so now one thing that is kind of confusing here like we can see that dobu played the game you know like we can see all of that but dobu says that he has never like you know uh, did anything like that that scam anyone he didn't do anything like that so why what like what even happened then like you know like i, I feel like dobu is telling the truth here like why would he even lie so yeah and he genuinely seemed confused like dobu you know when when asked when does, does he still play the zoo game you know he said at the beginning he said that no i don't and then like you know when uh, the phone came out he he realized that yeah i, I do actually played it did actually play it before so, okay let's check that portion out again just a sec okay where did you get this he asks <clears throat> okay dobu says i gave it to shirakawa why do you have that odogawa uh okay um why did you have this okay my superior as i guess you'd call him knows don raku okay just a sec guys uh one thing i want to check out mm. okay i'm trying to check out mm, just a sec Oh yeah, uh, I, I was not really like you know uh, Don Raku. Like I was not really recognizing him by the name. He's a baboon, isn't he? I think that's a baboon. I think so. Yeah, the the guy whose um uh, daughter is uh, Mitsuya. So okay, so <clears throat> alright. So he says that uh, my superior, obviously the boss, as I guess you'd call him, knows Don Raku. It ended up in my hands. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> when? Uh, more than 15 years ago. Nah, I forget it. It was a long time ago. Yeah, more than 15 years ago. That really does match with the time, Tanaka. Okay, only one of these erasers were sold. It's only one of them in the world. Oh wait, there could be leftover inventory at Donraku's house. Okay, he kind of says that there might be leftovers. It wouldn't be odd if an acquaintance had one. Okay. Okay. Ditch 11. Okay. Here's it. <laughs> okay. The username. Obviously, Ditch 11. <clears throat> okay. Then he asks him if you know what Zuden is. And he does say that, yeah, it's a game, isn't it? Do you play? Never played. Uh, right now the okay now is he like lying here i can't really read him it seems as if he is not lying i don't know maybe he is lying maybe uh as soon as he heard zuden's name he realized that ditch 11 is actually me maybe like you know dobu actually is lying here i'm not sure but you no know. okay right now the number one ranked account in zuden is ditch 11 okay um i send that account a message to confirm something I asked them if they used online auctions 16 years ago. They said that they did. Okay, so... Wait, so Ditch11 actually replied to him and said that they did auctions before. Okay, now here's one thing that I can see here. <coughs> Dom is not looking at him directly. He's kind of avoiding his eyes. Maybe he is lying, lying and he actually realizes what's happening here. Like at, at, at the beginning I thought maybe he did not know but it seems as if he... I don't know. Anyways, um, okay, uh, Tanaka says which means they're a person who conned me out of 100,000 yen 16 years ago. Okay, um, when I was in grade school. Uh, okay, what are you going on about? Yeah. Give my gun back already. Uh, let me uh, see your phone. I want to check if Zuden is installed in it. If you're not, then I'll... Okay, I think uh, Dobu's lying, you know? 
I, at the beginning, I thought, I told Alkana, I kind of thought that, no, maybe he's not lying, maybe he really did forget. But it really is weird, because, like, he says that he has not played and Zudan is not there. But then in his phone, we can see that Zudan is there, installed. And, um, like, like, how much of an airhead will you have to be if you don't even know what apps your phone has? You know, it's like a game you play. You were, like, the number one player. You know, it, so if you don't even know that, if you forget that, I don't think, yeah, I don't think that that's even possible. Like, so I think he is lying. He's actually like playing ignorant because he actually realizes what's happening here and he has a gun with him. So he's trying not to agitate him or something. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay, I told you it's not. Then I'm not giving up. Yeah, okay. A new boss character has come out. Yeah, great. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Okay, now Odoka says that um, Zudan accounts have icons, right? Show me Ditch 11's icon. Okay, the now he passes passes him his phone. Okay, Ditch 11. Number one, I think that is. And now here's the thing. Hmm. Like it, it looks like a uh, dogu, you know, the icon, but are these icon like uh, individual specific or something? Like, like, you know, like these type of games have like these pre-installed icons in game that you can use. Like, you know, the normal default icons and some other icons, like, like all like, you know, every like, like, you know, there are, like 30 or 40 icons, which are already there. You can choose from them. And then there are like some icons probably which you can upload in your phone. And you can have like a personalized icon. So I'm guessing this icon here is like a personalized icon that, you know, the, that, um, what's Dobu, that Dobu probably set. Because if this is like one of the default icons, then it doesn't even make sense here. You know, that like, you know, like he is actually trying to kill him because of the icon. Because uh, default icons, like hundreds and thousands of people have the same icons of default icons. So, but as I said, like, you know, the, the icon kind of looks like a silhouette of uh, Dobu. So I guess it is his icon. Okay, now. Okay, now, Mutoka says that it's him. Like obviously we can see that it looks completely like Dobu, even though it doesn't have any face, it's like a silhouette. Okay, uh, Dobu says, wait a minute, how? Now this portion I really don't understand, what the hell? Like, he says that, that's right, you can tell, like what? What tell? Is this somehow related to Odokawa's, um... What was it called? Synest synesthesia? Like, you know, like, I, I remember that previously Goriki tried to show him um, some pictures and told him that what are these and he was able to properly recognize them. So, that somehow related to that because, so does that mean that Dogu knows that Odokawa has this problem? Like, yeah, like they have been known each other for quite a while. I, it won't really, like, uh, surprise me if Dobu actually knows that Otokawa has this problem. It's kind of like a weird sentence here. Like, he says that that's right, you can tell. I'm guessing it's somehow related to his synesthesia. You know, I think that's what it was, it was called, you know, like, kind of uh, not, you know, recognizing color. Like, no, not like that. Like, kind of mixing up colors with sounds, you know, like, uh, like where your senses kind of get entangled together uh, something like that okay what what was it called just a sec mm. Sines yeah yeah synesthesia uh, where you can hear music but you see what hear music but you see oh when you hear music you see shapes yeah this thing or hear a word or a name and instantly see a color experience one of this uh, experience one of your senses through the other yeah that's what goriki was trying to do in the previous one of the previous episodes so i'm guessing uh Dobu kind of like you know he says that so how can you tell and then he says that oh yeah you can tell like you know because he doesn't have that problem or something like that i don't know it's something related to that most probably i'm properly unable to pinpoint what's happening here 
but but the real thing that's kind of bothering me here is that uh dobu actually knows that Uzukawa has this problem that's the thing that's really surprising me like i didn't expect him to know like they're not like best buds so yeah they're just like acquaintances so anyways okay then he says that okay i remember now i used to play zuden i haven't played in so long so i'd forgotten now what the hell is o odobu even saying here like who would even believe that like first of all okay i will I, I i can understand if he says that yeah it's been quite a long while like you know 15 six uh, or so years so i forgot i played it okay i can understand that so now uh, like if he like but the thing here is he was number one will that really will he really forget that like being number one is like you know like if i was number one in something i don't know like in some kind of game or whatever like i doubt i'll forget it till the day i die like you know number one like the whole world so i don't believe him you know i really don't i thought i believed him but i don't think so like i think he's lying actually because a few things like you know his mannerisms at that moment really sound like looked weird so like you know he was kind of looking on the other side he was not looking at uh, tanaka so yeah i think he's lying I think he actually realized what was happening, but he tried to act oblivious. Okay, then he says, that, why did you lie? And uh, Dobu says, you lied too. Okay, now this thing, I think it's correct. Like, you know, he's telling the truth. Nobody contacted me about any online issue. This thing, this thing, I think he's telling the truth. That uh, he did not uh, contact anyone about the online auctions. I think so, at least. I don't know. I might be wrong though. Maybe he's lying about this as well. No, but I think he is telling the truth here. You know, because if he really was lying about the auction as well, he wouldn't bring that point up in front of him. You know, like we can see that Dobu brings that point up in front of him, you know, on his own. Like when he says that you are lying, Dobu says that no, you are also lying because nobody contacted me about any online auctions. So here's the thing if Dobu was actually the one who contacted him about the auctions and he's lying about not contacting him he wouldn't say this in this situation you know he wouldn't bring this up you know because he he's a liar and liars don't do that liars whenever you're lying about something you don't bring up that point in front of others because you know you you fear of actually getting caught so this this section here kind of makes me feel that he is not lying about the auction, but he is lying about the fact that he played Zudan and he forgot it. I think that's the thing that he's lying about, but not the auctions. I don't know. This is just my take on the things. Okay. So then, like, you know, like, obviously, Tanaka gets mad here because the origin of his problems <laughs> was not the gacha game, but the auction, <laughs> auction, you know. So he goes completely crazy here. And he says that you don't have any bullets, like Dobu says, like, you know, don't act tough. Now, here's another thing, like, why the hell was he so confident that he doesn't have any bullet in it? Like, what the hell? Like, are you really that, like, what do you call it? Mm, uh, like, confident in, you know, like, like, anything could have happened. He could have, I don't know, like, gotten a bullet from somewhere else. So, like, maybe, maybe, like, you know, maybe when he shot before, in one of the... Uh, what do you call it instances like dobu kind of countered that this this is like one bullet uh, in the uh, in the kabakura one bullet here two bullets here uh, like so number six bullets all are gone he kind of counted it like that who knows maybe in one of those instances he fired a blank you know maybe he didn't have any bullet in the magazine at that time he just fired a blank at that time and so that's why he has an extra bullet now like anything could happen so i like i was really flabbergasted here like he's a goddamn criminal like he should be careful at these type of things or maybe because of that he was so overconfident you know because he, he felt as if like yeah i'm like i'm the big bad guy like <laughs> nobody can do anything maybe that was like the source of his overconfidence and he just like you know did a foolish thing like this because i also saw like oduga was also freaking out he was like he was saying like you know trying to say like like you don't know like if he has the bullet or not Odaka was also freaking out at that time. So, but he, like, you know, he was like, nah, he doesn't have it. And lo and behold, yeah, he does have a bullet in it. And he shoots him. 
it 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 it, it hit in his stomach uh hopefully it did not hit any vital organs yeah like if it really did hit any vital organs he would have been died there instantly so it, it probably missed it and he's just bleeding out now but if, if that bleeding is not stopped he'll die eventually so you know it's still a dangerous thing now he gets shot tanaka goes crazy tanaka runs away <laughs> god i don't know what's going to happen with him after this probably he'll get caught by some police or something and now this is the time when odokawa takes uh like you know the chance he takes the uh, key away and he says that the police and ambulance are coming like obviously they're coming so uh, hopefully uh you know uh dobu will get treatment soon now um <clears throat> like, ob like obviously odokawa cannot stay here and like, you know he was kind of talking with uh imai and asking him to come here and take the car and go away but then comes yano and otokawa's like you know what like yeah I'll, I'll return your 100 million yen later on i need to run from here now and now yano and all of them are fine now you know what like it would have been better if dobu was actually not shot here because he could have tried and stopped uh, yano and his crew but now Odokawa is alone. I'm really concerned about what's going to happen after this. And hopefully <clears throat> Dobu doesn't die. Like he, he's like a bad character. He is a, you know, he's a criminal. We know that. But he doesn't deserve to die. And as we can see, like, you know, as, as we, like Odokawa also said this, like in this past couple of days, he, like, you know, it seems as if Dobu is not the person that we like, you know, think him to be. He is bad. He is like, you know, he's not good, but he does have some good qualities and like, you know which yeah like so i don't want him to die obviously so yeah like, hopefully the ambulance comes here quickly gets a tr some treatment and then we get to see zymon's section where you know okay now one thing that like i can see I, I feel as if like the boss you know he's connected to everything like like when he asks him why did you do this the little diamond the big diamond says that do you remember this shows him the keychain what's that i think i remember seeing it when we graduated from police school okay they give it to you once you stop receiving payments from the foundation okay for kids often by traffic accidents yeah okay all right Wait, so that means, uh, in a way, I never really made the connection. So it means like the foundation, like, you know, was also helping o Odokawa and them as well. So they were both under, I'm guessing, the same organization. And I never really uh, noticed that. But anyways, for kids orphaned by the traffic accidents, they, they, they give this when they stop the payments, he says. Okay, what about it? The person who gave this to me is Dobu's boss. Wait, so what? I don't get it. Like, they give it to you once you stop receiving payments from the foundation. So, Dobu's boss is part of the foundation? Oh, really? Okay, maybe. Okay, so I'm guessing um, Dobu's boss is part of the foundation. The person who gave this to me is Dobu's boss. That's why you helped Dobu? Question mark. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. I'm guessing he had some kind of an emotional connection with the boss or something, you know. Maybe he treated him well, you know. And they they lost their parents, so yeah. Maybe he was really fond of him or something. That's why he's probably helped him. Something like that, most probably. So, yeah. All right. And that's why as also he didn't say the little, to tell this to little diamond because he had a high sense of justice and obviously diamond says that yeah we need to capture yano and i'm going to cap you know arrest you as well because you did something wrong and hopefully they are able to reach the you know and catch uh, yano quickly because ozuka is in trouble now so yeah Okay, uh, the only person I can see saving Otokawa is Daimon. 
the Diamond Brothers, so and the police. <clears throat> Hopefully, everything goes well in the next episode. So yeah, that was it, guys. Like I, I, I kind of trust Dobu, but I don't trust Yano at all. Like, he, he could just like shoot anyone. Like I don't believe him. Like he seemed pretty reckless. So if this was with Dobu, I would have been like you know, like you know, I would have been like you know what? Yeah, everything will be fine. But since Yano is staging him. Yeah, I don't actually believe him. So, like, you know, he could just shoot anyone. Like, uh, like Yano is pretty dangerous. More dangerous than Dobu, in my opinion. So, yeah, hopefully Diamond reaches them uh, quickly. All right, that was it. Uh, that was it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Odd Taxi episode number twelve. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll definitely check them out so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching so uh, next week is the final episode of our taxi this has been a great ride and yeah i'm love i love this show and i'm really looking forward to a happy ending hopefully it's a happy ending <laughs> so see you guys in the next video uh next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day